Well, I'm on the Bean Highway, Brighton, and look at this new building. This is this is the home of East Brighton Football Club. That's Australian Rules Football Club, and this is actually the official opening day. Of this magnificent building here, which the Bayside Council have organised to be open for the club and it's the home of the vampires and today they're officially officially opening this mag magnificent stand stadium I can't get my words out here and I'm going in there now to find John Lockhaw who with many of the old players have come from all over Australia I think some have come from Sydney and Brisbane to be here for this auspicious auspicious occasion a great day on the calendar. Look at this fantastic stadium. There's all the flags what they've won. And they're all inside there. All having a drink. Hi right, John, we're away. Well here we are at the opening of the East Brighton Football Club new rooms, 2017. The last uh, development of these rooms was done in 1992 when I was the mayor and sponsored it through the council. Got no credit for it of course, but it doesn't matter. But it's great to be here on a great East Brighton day and to see that the stars of this football club. They're a fantastic bunch of uh, people. They play the game as it should be played. And good luck to them and congratulations to the Bayside City Council on the initiative they're taking here. It hasn't just stopped with the, uh, the development of the club rooms, they've reseated the Oval as well. Wow. And it looks, it looks splendiferous, Brooksy. So, what are you, Josh? So, they're behind you. What, what, what have we got here today, John? What's this? Who's this? Well, well the, the, the East Brighton Football Club have, have invited everyone down today that's been associated with the club over its, over its history yeah. to celebrate the opening of the new rooms. So, there's new facilities here, right. uh, courtesy of the Bayside City Council in collaboration with the East Brighton Football Club. And part of the deal is to invite all the old stages and all the old poses and all the old players. So we've got what era? Eras from the Oh 50s, no, this, this, this exactly this would go on from the club's history. Right. So 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s and so on are all represented here today. Of course I know my generation pretty well and not a lot of the other people, but well, that's the nature of footy clubs. A good turnout of like our age group. Absolutely, it's a great turnout and, and, and not only of our age group, but quite say 10, 15 years old and they're still alive wow. and, and, and of course folks the other side of the equation 20, 30, 40 years younger. But it's a great community day and as I've said they've really seen the Oval and, and, and look at the picturesque, it's a fantastic achievement. Yeah this is great Joe, let's go and find some characters. Right, oh, let's go and find some characters. We found one, right. Ross McCulloch mate. Now Ross McCulloch, he was involved in the premierships, he's the heart and soul of this club, he put the day together with his members. Yeah. He's a fantastic sportsman. I would reckon he'd be the best player I've ever seen play. Now really? that would, yes, yes. I, you know what? what position? He's always right. He, he, and this bloke was a district cricketer as well. He, 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 he never missed. So all these AFL players are lining up shots for goal. They ought to come and get this bloke to coach him. Or Johnny O'Brien, because he never missed. Not so, now. What, what position, now? John? Ross played centre half forward, half forward. Good position. And a uh, very silky, very, very gifted with the skills he was, yeah, Ross. Yeah, yeah. Good on you, Ross. Good on you, Ross. Thanks for your time, mate. Cheers. Cheers in the mail. Go <laughs> <laughs> down here. Yeah, she got you. Hey, yeah, Vic. Turn around and say something to the camera. <laughs> Who's this, John? This is Vic Hillier. Yeah. Now, I lived in the Lawrence Street with Vic in the 60s. In where? In Lawrence Street, Brighton, number right. 30. What number are you, Vic? Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. You can't remember, but he was a bit Twelve. Fair. Twelve. He was a bit further down the street, and Vic played a league right. You did play the semi side, Vic. Half forward, weren't you? Uh, half forward, yeah. Ruckman. Half forward, no, one of the Ruckman books. Oh, yeah, and, 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 hey, and I tell you what, he had the long, long city. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, mate. Cap, he was capping before he his was, time. He was capping a year before <laughs> his time. But and good the, play. And the short shorts, too. Good right. play, and the short shorts. And where are you based now, Vic? In Brisbane. In Brisbane. How long have you been up there? Uh, been up 10 years now. And you got any recollection of the day the, when we won the flag I've in 73? I've got many recollections. Some that will uh, crack everyone up at the meanie roast, which yeah. I'm looking forward to attending. Uh, uh, yeah, that's 
fantastic. So you come down for the day? Yes. Wow, a good effort, John. Yeah. 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 It means that much to you then to come oh, I down. Miss, I missed the 73 reunion, unfortunately. Right. In fact, I think we had a reunion of the 73 Premiership side uh, well, you 40 years well. after I played in the 73. Well, mate, mate, I won the game for him. Let's, put, let's be frank. No, but he contributed. <laughs> he did a bit. <laughs> Did Cherry play in that one? Cherry played. He, is he on the photograph? He's not on it. Yeah, he's there. Cherry's here. We'll see him later. No, he told me he's not on the photograph. Oh, he might have missed the photograph. No, he did a sub Kekovic. Yeah, he didn't turn up. Yeah, Cherry now, played. Now, and Oscar Kelly played. Yeah, yeah, how many goals did you kick that day? You got a couple, didn't I you? Think I think, think two. Think two? Yeah. We beat Canterbury. Yeah. Where? Like, at, at the Sandingham Oval. Yeah. Right. Big crowd. Big crowd, South East Suburban Football League at the time. Yeah. Very, very powerful suburban league. Yeah. And I remember in the side that won the 73 side premiership, I think 14 of us went on next year to play senior football, either VFA or VFL. So they were a very, very talented suburban outfit. Yeah. yeah a lot of depth too. Uh, yeah. The big range side was very strong. So. Uh, you know, if there was a problem with injury or suspension with A grade, it was generally a fairly good replacement that would go in. Yeah. Uh, similarly, if someone was coming back from injury or, um, or suspension um, and needed a run under their belt, there was no problem with them running around with the, with the B grade team. That was called the Scallops. I don't know if it still is, but uh, Fantastic. christened by the late great Dickie Rouse. And uh, it stuck, and they had their own culture, and uh, they were multiple premiership winners in that time as well. So. And I can tell you what, look, you can tell by his ability to add live, he's going to have a great, great career in sales, this man. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, That's where yeah. I come from. Thanks for, thanks for your time, Vic. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Where are we going, John Day? Hey, what about this fella? Mickey Good. Mickey Good. Uh, Mickey Good, turn around. Here we go. Now, Mickey Good, he he was a member of the 73 Premiership side. He was in there as well. But listen, he hasn't liked me. We were teammates. But I'll tell you what, for 27 and 17, 44 years, he hasn't liked me. Because I'll tell you why. why? At selection, I had the choice. Which rider do you want, uh, Alan Mead? He said to me. <laughs> Terry, this come over true. here. Terry, get to this. This is true. This, this is, is true. true. Yeah, Terry true. Pritchard, he's a legend of the club. Best and fairest and premiership player. But back to the story. For 44 years, he's held the grudge against me. Oh, man. He's the only bloke ever to land one on the chin. But they what happened, me. John? What happened? Alan Mead. Alan Mooney, who was the backbone, the spine, the inspiration, said, who do you want as Rover? And I said, I'll have Renato Pocci. He said, what about Mickey Gore? I said, no, he's sus, he's not sound. I don't want him. So anyway, I got my way. Renato Pocci, State League uh, soccer player, came over to prove he could play the great game of Aussie rules. Yeah. He became the first Rover. I think you missed out, Mick, but you got... was on the bench. He was on the bench. And I hated How did you it. Feel? He I hated it. Did you know this had gone on? No, I thought it was out of me. Yeah. And I've hated Alamini ever since. Well, well listen, you know why so you I him, you know why I chose this why? is you'll get him later. You know why I chose Renato Pocci? Why? Because we're wogs, mate, and I knew he was on his oh. way to work. I, yeah, I knew he was on that's his right. way to ownership of the yeah. pizza shop. Yeah. And I couldn't get any out of him, but I was going Renato fed me for years. So thanks Renato. He yeah. <laughs> always does things that are to help him out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Free pizzas for life. Three pieces below. Did he have a did he have a pincer shop? He was on his way to his pizza empire. I oh. knew I knew about that and I thought I can see a lot of spaghetti in this. <laughs> I hate what he's talking about. And what about this brother? What about, what about Mr. Pritchard? Come here, Terry. Come here. Yeah. Terry, he was the mouth. He was the mouthpiece of our side. Right. If ever, if ever anything needed to be retorted to or applied to, it spilled from Terry's mouth. On the field, you mean? On the field and anywhere you wanted to be concerning football. And I never forget there was an incident in the centre of the ground yeah. where their ruckman charged straight in and assaulted me. Right. And I turned around, I said to Terry, Terry, can you just get in your usual position of riding shotgun, Terry, because it's going to be on here in a minute. And I launched the reply attack on the Ruckman, mate, with a lot, a lot of success, let me tell you. They went out of the game and East Brighton cannoned, galloped to a well-deserved victory. The greatest premiership victory in the history of their side. Wow. And he's the king of sledge here. He, he was a king. Yeah. He was a king. He could kick goals, mark it. What about, what about John? Who's John? John? Mate, <laughs> uncomplicated little rat bag, <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> That's right. He's spot on. Uh, uh, can he tell a story or not? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs>
never stop for bread. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. How long's the battery on this? That's <laughs> quality. Let's go and get this Come on, let's here. go and get some more. Right, we'll go and we'll go and we'll go and meet. Oh, this bloke here, John Bennett, yeah. when I was a mayor, I tried to get him a citizenship award. I, I should have tried harder because he made a fantastic contribution. He led the next great era of this football club. He's a former league player himself right. for two clubs in Kilda and Footscray. Yeah. We'll go over and get him All now. Right, right, <laughs> We'll come back, we'll come back, we'll come back. Well, it's all going here. I hope you're picking this up. Can we have a word with you? Well, Johnny Bennett. Johnny Hello, John Brooksy. David Brooks. Oh, I know you. I know you. Yeah. What a music man. He is, he is. He's a fucking legend. <laughs> no, you're the legend. This bike was a music man because he was a conductor. I'll tell you what I did with him one day. You were I remember singing. you know. Remember I was singing with you in some fucking gig you did. No swearing, no swearing. Oh, yeah. He was doing a gig in South Melbourne or somewhere. We all went on the piss, right? Yeah. They come back to somewhere. They went in somewhere, we went to somewhere and he just got up and started singing and he dragged me out. From Sandy, yes. Yeah. After having had a career at St Kilda and Footscray, yeah. Yeah. and then I went to Sandy for a few years, a couple of years. Then I come back at 30. I started coaching here in 1990. 1990, right? So 1998. No, and wow. in that time, yeah. you won how many flags? Uh, we, we won two back uh, to back. No. 91 we won. Right. 92 we finished on top. Went out in straight six. Right. 193. Yeah. Played again in 94. Right. Played in 95. And who did you beat? Because they were a guard. Uh, Noble Park once. That's right. And Noble Park Good is team. basically yeah, a magnificently organised football club. Yeah. They once offered me a position of coach there. So we played with four grannies. Yeah. And they won two, we won two. Yeah. And one of the ones we won, they were undefeated all year. Yeah. And, and, wow. and he, he, at centre half, I can remember the game now, against the wind, kicked the goals <laughs> that kept them in the game. He was a fantastic leader of this club and he made a magnificent contribution, immeasurable in its time. And congratulations to you, Booney, because you've been a great, great contributor to your community through both cricket and football. And he's a hero of his community. He's now currently president of the uh, Hedleton Football Club. Yeah, Hedleton, though. Yeah. Still in it. Well, yeah. came, well, I left here in the 90s, and then I went and coached him basically for nine years through the 2000s. And I don't want to call him a rough diamond, mate, because I don't like the use, use of the word rough as an adjective. He's just a diamond. He's just a diamond. Ah, oh, you're right, rough guy. He's right on the rough guy. Right, uh, good to see you. Hey, good to see you too. Where's Greeny? Where are we going now? That fella you've got before. Oh, this is gold. This is a harder football. This is grassroots football. Hey, Brooksy. Johnny O'Brien. Hello, David Johnny. Goes. How are you, Johnny? Now, Johnny O'Brien was a brilliant player at the East Bryant Football Club. 73 Premiership player, did you Premiership play again? Player. Oh, so I played 73 and 76. 73 yeah. and 76. Never, I swear, never saw him miss a shot for goal. So any AFL club that's looking for a goal kicking coach, you should come and get this man who's highly successful in business, yeah. so he can guarantee you know what he's talking about. But he was just a brilliant, brilliant kick of the football, and mate, he could get it and kick it. So go on, then, Johnny, how you going? I'm good. Very good. Are you windscreens? Oh, all right. Oh, all right, okay. And where are you based now, Johnny? I'm in Sydney. He's come all the well, way from Sydney. Have you come down from Sydney? So you think that much of it to come down? Oh, yeah, Well, great memories for you. Yeah. And, and Johnny. What position? He was half forward, uh, forward pocket row. He's a forward line. A nugget, player. a nugget, tough. Oh mate, he, so, was, he was just as skilled as he didn't need to be tough, he was just totally skilled. Wow. But he was tough enough, don't we worry. We like picking last night. Yeah, better than picking, mate. Now this play this play was a sensation. Hey, it is picking some. It is picking some. Yeah. 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 Now Johnny, you, last time at the reunion, the 73, after 40 years we all we all had a reunion, the 73 premiership side players. There was only one missing, we're all still alive, thank God. And Johnny, you got some noble ambitions for yourself in football when you retire. Yeah, I have. I just want to um, go back coaching kids, probably. Really. Oh, good one. Yeah, doing that. In and Sydney? Oh, no, I'll come back to Victoria. Oh, come back here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Good on you, Johnny. Is my mate Terry, who got me involved in the footy club. We're massive, massive fans of Johnny O'Brien. Still talk about him. And we've got reason to talk about him, because every time we see an AFL player miss a shot for goal, we both say, Johnny O'Brien wouldn't have missed that. Oh, yeah, Johnny, thanks, mate. Cheers. Oh, nice job, Terry, where's my... This is gold. 15 minutes of gold, job. We'll get me. Hey? Oh, look, big fun. What about the photograph here, John? Is that it? Is that the 73 one, John? Yeah, this is the photograph. That's it, yeah. This Terry's not on it. No, I think Terry was away. I don't know where he was. So that's the boys. That's the boys that won the, uh, the uh, trips in the Who have we met there today, John? Well, we've met Big Hill here. We've met uh, Johnny O'Brien. Can you point to them, John? Uh, Oh, it's got to be pretty hard to find them. I know. We met Ross McCallum. Oh, there's Johnny O'Brien at the bottom. Johnny O'Brien. Bottom right. Top right, yeah. Big Hill, yeah, Johnny O'Brien. We'll meet uh, Terry Pritchard, Mick Good. Yeah. So they're all here. And, 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 and 11, I think 14 of those young fellas went on to play either senior football, AFL or VFL after their career, at least right and finished. Well, we'll go and find the coach now. We'll go and find Alan Mooney, the coach of the side. Well, hey, I'll tell you what, let's have a word this bloke too. Philip Morris, who was his secretary, Terry's right. brother-in-law, and uh, he was great. He was, a, he was a fantastic player, Philip Morris. Let's find me. Billy This John? Alan Mooney. Alan Mooney? No, we'll, we'll get him in a moment. That's his best view. Is it the coach? Yeah. Come on, we want to Alan. Here we are. Yeah, We've found the man. Hi, Alan. Hi, Alan. Hi, Alan. Hi, Alan. Hi, Alan. Hi, Alan. This is Alan Mooney. Yeah. Alan, Mooney was, Alan Mooney was the captain coach of this club in 1973. Premiership coach. He was the premiership coach. Did you coach him in 76 too, Alan? I did. So, he's, mate, he's the heart and soul of this football club. Yeah. He's put it together. And I came across midway through the season. And, mate, I was that frightened of him. Now, look, why would I be frightened of him with a head like that? But I was. When he ran around, he ran you around. You were frightened of him? Yeah, I was. Really, Alan. And he ran around the first game. Get a kick, get a mark, get a kick, take a kick. He was at me all day. Yeah. But he's a fanatical little dictator despot. No, he, he, he's, a, he's the sort of bloke that should be running the country because he, he did a fantastic job running this football club. It's great to have him here after all these years. What position, me, Alan? Mate, he played in the centre or wherever he wanted to play. Yeah, no, it's been a, been a bit of a journey, no, but it's all been good. We've enjoyed our time and we just hope we can have a smashing day in the day. What's yeah. this like today for you? What? What's this been like today? Oh, it's been great. It's, yeah. You know, there's been a lot of organisation. I've done a little bit, but there's been a couple of boys behind the scenes, John Scully in particular yeah. and Ross McCulloch. They've been marvellous. And, uh, Brooks, That's why they're having a... Sorry, I was talking over the top of me, Coach, because whenever he was talking, mate, I just... Yeah. But... But they're having a race for Alan at this football club on May the 27th, and there'll be a lot of people lining up to have their two bobs worth of that oh, Alan Mooney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think there'll be plenty. Oh, really? <laughs> I know little Mickey Good will have plenty of time. Sorry, to go. G'day now, Brooksy. We're here with Big Bo, Big Bo Adams. There you go, Brooksy. And oh, I, yeah, I, Bo, think, Big I think, Bo, you kicked your career off here in about 81, 82. If it wasn't for Johnny Locko here, I would have been a nobody. He taught me everything I know, and I went on to become a champion. He so. did. He did. He absolutely went on to dominate. He started was you at the club when John was here? Yeah, I was here. And he taught me everything. As a young kid. That's right. Bo, I hope he's serious. Me, seriously. He's either yeah. serious or delirious. He's right. what position were you playing now? Where do you reckon, Brooksy? You come Brooks. out Brown one is a heavyweight, he's a ruckman I know, he's a big fella. <laughs> a fair dick of position. And Bo is wow. one of the famous Adam brothers that played in How many Four played? of us. For Bo, there was Bo, Graham. Graham, Brian, and Brian, Kevin. And Kevin Adams. We all played in the one grand final in 1988 against Parker. And did you win? We won and I was best on ground. Wow. Well done, Bo. Surprising. Well, no, well done. The original Adams family. The Adams family, Brooksy. And, and, and Bo, you became president of the That's right, yes. You did? 
Good on you. They made a fantastic contribution, the Adams boys, to a great community club. So I didn't know that before you played the Premiership side. 1988, Parkdale, yep. Fantastic. And Brian had a great career at Sandy. At Sandy. Yep. They were fantastic uh, footballers. Was you the only one who played here? No. We all came through the juniors, oh, and right, then the others, yeah. we all went our own way, and then we all came back when we were right, growing so up. So when he was playing in this team yeah. here, he was like a... I was a young kid, probably about 18 or 19. Right, coming and through. Coming through, and he, he obviously, uh, I took everything in that he told me, I took it all in, and uh, he's a legend. Oh, oh, man, he's, he's a, a, a big, strong man. Hey, I got you that, John. Geez, you can get ring, ring, bound, one out, he comes, I'll tell you what, oh, I'll get out of his way today. Go on your boat, takes your time, mate. Shit. Well, <laughs> Rubble. We'll go and get this by David Grigger. Oh, this is great, this. This is great. Hey, David. David Brooks, Sorry, David Grigger. Grigger. Hello, champ. How are you, man? Hey, mate. Happy smiling face. Now, here. mate, this bloke and Mary and his lovely wife. Yeah. But uh, David Grigger, mate, you won't be short of a word. What can you tell us? What, what, what are your impressions of the day, David? Uh, let's not worry about that. I was left out of the team of the century. Was you? Yeah, because of this big dickhead. Really? What, yeah. same position? Uh, yeah, same position, except I was better. Was you? Is that and, right, John? And younger. He's and younger. He, he, might have been be he might have been younger and better looking, mate, but he wasn't better. <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife will tell you how good I am. <laughs> 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 so what team were you in? I played uh, a lot of years here. Yeah. I, I played my juniors at Ormond Amateurs came here in the under 15s. Yeah. Only because they allowed drinking. No, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you're and, in. And all sorts of other activities. Then I went elsewhere, and then came back, finished uh, playing the, the seniors early. Yeah, played in uh, one premiership, but I captained uh, one other premiership. Oh, you two? Yeah. two. Uh, no, he's, he's a legend of the club, David Greer. He's really? a very, very generous man by nature, so right. great to see you, David, in fine fiddle too. Who's and the biggest legend? Uh, one of the, the, the best players. The best player I played with Bernice Bryant easily was Neil Liddell. Neil Liddell, yeah, well, he got it when he wanted to, didn't uh, he? He was a great, great and player. And the second best player in my time was Craig Wright. Craig Wright. Oh, yeah. Mile. Yeah. He what about you, Josh? Oh, no. Too many. The best player I saw at this football club, yeah. I'd have to say, was it's a photo finish between Johnny O'Brien and Ross McCullough. They were just silky. Their skills were unbelievable. Right. Never Johnny dropped O'Brien's the mark. Here. Yeah, we, we'd seen them all. Spoken on the South Moon, but no, they were great. But there's been a lot of great characters come out of this club, and I think we've met most of them. We'll have a word with this young bloke here, too, if we could. Chris, David. Chris, great Andy, Andy. Can Sorry. you have a word with us? Absolutely. Andy, Andy Kruziak, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Now, Cruiser, what's your history at this footy club? Um, I started here in 1984 in the under-16s. Yeah. And then finished up in 92. Yeah. So, Having played in premiership sides. Yeah, so I, was, I was lucky enough to play in three premiership sides. Well, they are. Triple so, under John. Jo um, no, first year under John Boyd. We were runners-up yeah. in 1986. Right. Then uh, 1988, we won B-grade. Yeah. I played in reserves that that year. Right. Um, then 91, of course, we knocked off the Noble Park. Invincible Noble Park. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty a much, big one. Pretty yeah. much unbeaten all year, and we, we yeah. touched them up in, in, in the big one. Right. So one of my greatest memories in football, probably. Yeah. It was a fantastic played. day. They beat the Invincible, as uh, Andrew has described. Cold Park Football Club. Yeah. We've spoken to the coach Johnny Bennett, so yeah. Andy was part of his team, and yeah. he's still in fine fettle, great oh, Nick, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's also a great mate of the greatest endurance athlete on earth, John Graham Whistler, yeah, yeah. who's off to do his art stark again and set another world record. So, what do you think about Johnny's? Oh, and, and extraordinary. He redefines, redefines 
people's capacity in their in their 40s. Absolutely, that's yeah. a, pure, pure, a, a, a tremendous way of describing it. And uh, Andy, just a bit of news for Johnny this morning, socked off a 50k run. Yeah, I, I, I did yeah. hear about and that. And it looks good. And it's All by himself. Brooks was meant to film it, but he got his AM and his PMs mixed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or so he said. I did hear him, but I, I did turn all of it. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't get out of here to go and film it. But anyway, yeah. Yeah. thanks for talking to us, Andy. Pleasure, is it? Thanks, guys. Pleasure, is it? Fantastic job. Yeah. Yeah.